What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're doing a Pokemon PSA showcase episode. Uh, so I happen to be trying to clean up my apartment. I'm actually a pretty messy person. Um, and I happen to come across a couple boxes that appear to have PSA cards in it. And one says Jim Chow, so I'm pretty sure that refers to Jim Challenge. And then this one says Base 2, which is crossed out. Challenge, which is crossed out, and then Gym Hero. So I'm pretty sure this these two boxes have my collection of Gym Hero slash Gym Challenge PSA cards, and uh, some of them are they have a they feel like they have a good amount of cards into it. So let's get into Gym Heroes first, and woo wow, this thing is basically filled to the brim, and uh, let's just get right into it. Now this is a set that um at the time. That I was going pretty hard at collecting all of the full sets for PSA. These sets were actually very affordable. So I think I picked up most of these through like PWCC auctions and I got pretty far as far as like my goals were were kind of like the high grade. So PSA 9, ideally I have a full set, PSA 10 full set. Uh, for unlimited and then same thing for first edition and i kind of was like all over the place on all of them so i don't have any full sets but we did get pretty far in collecting them so we're starting off with blaine's mold trace this looks really cool to be honest i'm not really sure what's going on here if this is supposed to be like some kind of fire thing or like a faded mountain but this is a psa 9 blaine's mold trace very nice and um yeah the gym the gym heroes uh, it was always an interesting set how they kind of just put like the gym leader there. It didn't really actually do anything, but uh, it was just pretty cool. And then for, so actually, so this goes in order. So and these are the PSA 9. And then we have Brock's Rhydon. Eh, I never had too strong feelings about Rhydon. So I feel like he was always pretty strong. And then we have a number 3, Erica's Cliff Fable for PSA 9 So yeah, so this is the unlimited set and considering how old these cards are so from year 2000 so like um, Not sure when in the year, but like let's just assume like uh, In the near future will be up to 19 years old and these cards are still very affordable. So um, You know if you're interested in starting your Watsi collection uh, Gym heroes gym challenges might be a good place to start you can get a lot of um High grades for real pretty cheap like if you happen to have packs like I feel like um, cracking packs is financially you know very much the wrong decision in my mind like if you do manage to pull a hollow and you get a PSA 9 it's still like you know the price still aren't that high this card is actually surprisingly offset look how much like yellow there's on the top versus the bottom but Erica's Dragonair Dragonair really cool even this uh, stage one warrants a hollow which is really cool I don't think, don't think Erica had a Dragonite. And then Erica's Vileplume. You can kind of see me in the reflection for that nice hollow. Vileplume. I kind of like Vileplume. It always looks very happy. And another unlimited PSA 9. So that's number 5. And looks like we do have a couple gaps. So we're jumping right to number 8. LT Surge's Magneton. I imagine this one would be very tough. I feel like a lot of Magnetons are very hard to grade. They just have so much foiling in it. Like you can see all those, all that sparkle back there. And then we're moving to number nine, Misty Cedra. And one thing I like about looking at old cards, you kind of see like how insane the power creep is for a stage one hollow. And there's no, there's no such thing as full eyes or anything like that. So this is uh, the max rarity, and it only has 70 HP, and uh, one's tax is 30, <laughs> 30 with some text. One thing interesting about the this set is that uh, there was kind of like some dupes in the Pokemon, but they just came from a different trainer. And this is a good example where we have Rocket's Moltres, and while so Rock both Rocket and Blaine had a Moltres, and it's kind of cool that there's Rocket to begin with, and there's a couple cool ones for the Rockets. So Rocket, um, Rocket's Moltres PSA nine unlimited. That one, that one's a cool art. And all right, so I'm not sure what the method to this madness is, but we're going to uh, first edition at this point. And this one I really like, Sabrina's Alakazam. I don't know why, but I just really love this art. And this is a first edition PSA nine. Whew. Anything first edition Watsy? 
PSA 9 I feel like it's always a good um, always a good card to have and yeah something about that art just really pops and I find it really cool and all right now I have no idea what's going on with the order we have the Misty card so all the trainers did have I think they had multiple trainers but one of them like was just their name and that is the hollow version All right, another PSA 9, and um, all right, so now we're going to some uh, Misty's Tentacruel. And the cool thing about this one, this one's a Gem Mint 10. So we even have some Gem Mint 10s and Misty's Tentacruel. Uh, this one, actually, the art is really nice, too. Um, I'm a fan for symmetry, <laughs> so I really like this art. <laughs> and I always thought Tentacruel is a very cool Pokemon. The when Tentacool and Tentacool kind of like premiered in the original show when they're on the SS, I'm guessing SSN, uh, I thought, oh my gosh, those, these Pokemon are so strong. And then we have Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. Never a huge fan of Electabuzz, uh, but I do, I do appreciate any um, Pokemon that is, uh, I'm assuming it's not, not terrible because it's a hollow and then when they only have one energy cost attacks. And this is another first Ed Gem Mint 10. So yeah, cream the crop, first edition, gem mint 10, Watsy stuff, ooh, can't beat that. And we actually have another Misty's Tentacruel, and it's another gem mint 10. Now I feel like for me to have multiple copies of this, like, I wouldn't kind of go for a redundant copy of something unless, like, the price was just really good, so, yeah, these, um, and I feel like I've only had these for a couple years, so I imagine the prices could not have gone up too much. So if you're looking to start off a collection, uh, Gym Heroes is a pretty affordable place to start. We have Misty Seedra PSA 9, but it is that first ad stamp. Very nice. And here we have another Rocket card. We have Rocket's Hitmonchan. And PSA 9, first edition again. So another, another Rocket card. And kind of staying tuned to like, true to like the rocket set where the rocket Pokemon have such low HP, 60 HP. That's like, I feel like base set, base set Hitmonchan was uh, I think 70. And then we have that Rocket's Moltres again, but this one is first ed, PSA nine again. You can see kind of like a really nice swirl up there. I'm not really sure what the deal with the swirls is, but I feel like if you guys watch uh, TCA, um, it was. He always comments about the swirls. And here we have Rocket Scyther. Let's see, HP, 6 HP? Uh, I feel like, I can't remember what Jungle Scyther HP was, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was 60 as well. And another First Ed PSA 9. Okay, we're kind of jumping all over the place. We got Brock himself. Remove one damage counter from each of your Pokemon has any damage to it. That sounds pretty bad, but it is first dead, it is PSA 9, and it is a hollow, so <laughs> we'll take it. And like you can see they have like the badge symbols behind them, which I think is pretty cool. So there we have Brock, and then we have Lieutenant Surge himself, PSA 9 first edition. You play this card only if you have at least one basic Pokemon in your hand. Put basic Pokemon card from your hand to play as your active Pokemon. Pull your old active Pokemon. Ugh. Sure. And they do have a rocket card, and this is interesting because it's not just Team Rocket, it's Rockets, the Rockets Trap. Flip a coin, if heads, choose up to three cards at random by your opponent's hand, your opponent shuffle. Ooh, that's pretty good. And this one is, again, first edition PSA 9. Especially the trainers, um, you know, I found that their prices were pretty, really reasonable. Um, and I imagine just because, I mean, even myself, like I prior prioritize the Pokemon for sure. And we have another Blaine's Moltres. PSA 9. That is a lot of energy. <laughs> what is that? Some kind of GX attack or something? And actually, I feel like we're starting to loop. Alright, we have a Brock's Rhydon again. Uh, PSA 9 Unlimited. I'm wondering what happened was... Um, this is like the ones I have dupes of, so it's kind of just cycling through again. Bioplume again, PSA 9. Although I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen... Lieutenant Surge's Firo. Oh, and I think I know why. It's because this one is only only a near mint to mint 8 for a Watsy card from the year 2000. Uh, yeah, that's uh, it's like, oh my gosh, where'd this PSA 8 come from? <laughs> and then the LT Surge's Magneton again, unlimited PSA 9. And maybe this is our third one at this point, Misty Cedra, um, for another PSA 9. 
So actually that took much longer than I was expecting and I don't want the video to go too long. Uh, so we'll probably cut it right there and tomorrow we'll do the gym challenge box and there's two other boxes that I'm pretty sure are even more vintage vintage year that's not a word uh, older than these gym challenge ones so look forward to the upcoming PSA videos uh, basically we'll try to just I'm not sure if we're gonna start doing day back to back to back but uh, we'll see and uh, but that's it for today as always guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support on the channel and uh, like comment and subscribe all down below I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time